The objective of Conservation Northwest Sagelands Heritage Program is to maintain, restore, and connect shrub steppe landscapes from British Columbia's Okanagan Valley to Washington's Horseheaven Hills. Priority species include sage grouse, bighorn sheep, badgers, sharp-tailed grouse, mule deer, and pygmy rabbits. This Google flight will take us through the program area, stopping at locations that currently provide valuable habitat and need to be connected to offer options for wildlife to move today and into the future. At our first stop at the north end of our program in British Columbia, available shrub steppe habitat pinches down to a narrow band of grasslands just east of the town of Kelowna, stretching from Okanagan Mountain to Kalamalka Lake. Efforts to protect this northernmost habitat are underway. A vital part of the U.S.-Canada transboundary linkage, the grasslands protected area near a Soyuz is part of the land being considered for a South Okanagan Similkameen National Park Reserve. Crossing the border into Washington State, our next stop is in the Tunk Valley. The high priority working lands of the Tunk provide critical habitat for the endangered sharp-tailed grouse and are home to the well-known Okanagan mule deer herds. The reservation of the Colville Confederated Tribes serves as a core area for populations of mule deer, sage grouse, badgers, bighorn sheep, and most recently a reintroduced population of pronghorn antelope. South of the Columbia River is the high plateau of mixed farmland and shrub steppe habitat known as Dyer Hill where patches of sharp-tailed grouse habitat vital to the species' survival need to be maintained. Partners are working to purchase Spiva Butte, 1,300 acres of prime shrub steppe, wetland, and riparian habitat along what is known as the sagebrush flats to Big Bend linkage. Once conserved, this will be a safe haven for sage and sharp-tailed grouse, horny toads, amphibians, deer, and many species of birds. Moses Cooley is an extremely photogenic core linkage in Douglas County and has more species of concern in one location than any other landscape in the program. If pygmy rabbits are to survive in Washington, Moses Cooley will be an important part of that picture. The Kalakam and other state wildlife areas in the central part of our program serve as winter and breeding habitat for elk and mule deer while providing excellent connecting habitat for sage grouse and short-eared owls. While flying south from the Kalakam to the Yakima Training Center, we pass over Interstate 90 between Ellensburg and Vantage. The Kalakam to Yakima Training Center linkage is bisected by I-90, a formidable barrier to many wildlife species. Increasing vehicle elk collisions here have multiple agencies and partners working on solutions. The Yakima Training Center provides a large expanse of core habitat that is critical to many shrub steppe species. Uncontrolled wildfires pose a huge landscape scale threat to this area. The Wainius Wildlife Area to Yakima Reservation linkage is one of the best ways for species from plentiful shrub steppe habitat in Oregon to move north into central Washington. The reservation of the Yakima Nation has a vast expanse of shrub steppe habitat home to a variety of species, including a small number of pronghorn antelope, 
One of the major factors affecting this core area is damage to vegetation by an ever-increasing number of feral horses. From the mixed cropland and shrub steppe topography of the Horse Heaven Hills near Yakima, one can look south into Oregon and see an ever-widening expanse of shrub steppe habitat. While large expanses of shrub steppe habitat exist across the west, Washington State and southwestern Canada have an ever-narrowing percentage of these lands that threaten species need for their survival. Maintaining, protecting, and restoring these landscapes is vital if we want their ecological value and scenic beauty to be enjoyed by future generations.